This is the final video in this series of videos about Excel 2013 Unit DN, which we're going to be looking on pages Excel 94 and 95, in which we're going to create a pie chart. You can create multiple charts based on the same worksheet data. While a column chart may illustrate certain important aspects of your worksheet data, you may find you want to create an additional chart to emphasize a different point. Depending on the type of chart you create, you have additional options for calling attention to trends and patterns. For an example, if you create a pie chart, you can emphasize one data point by exploding or pulling that slice away from the pie chart. When you're ready to print a chart, you can preview it just as you do a worksheet to check the output before committing it to paper. You can print a chart by itself or as part of a worksheet. So if we take a look on step one on page Excel 94, it tells us that we want to select the range A5 to A12. And that is going to select our uh, titles here for our different countries. Then next, we're going to press and hold our control key on our keyboard, and we're going to select F5 to F12. And if you were watching one of the previous videos before, this is how we can go through there and select non-joining uh, data. So uh, we can select our first uh, series of data, which is uh, our titles here, which is the Australia, all of our different countries. And then we want to select our totals here as well for the different countries. Now we don't want to select the bottom totals because that would throw off our chart uh, as well. Once we have these two different ranges selected, we now want to go to our Insert tab, and then we're going to go to our uh, Charts group. And this time, we're going to go uh, to the Insert Pie or Donut Chart button, in which that is down here at the bottom. And you can see it looks like a pie chart here. When we click on that, notice we have some different options. We have our 2D pies, which they give you some examples, and there's a 3D pie, and then of course there's our donut. In this case, we want to click the 3D pie. Now the new chart appears in the center of the worksheet. Now you can move the chart and quickly format it, formatting it using the chart layout. Now step two tells us that we want to drag this chart so that its upper left corner is at the upper left corner of cell G1. So we're just going to click on this and we're just going to drag it uh, up a little bit. And we're going to drag it here to where it's going to kind of match up right with this data, just right on the side. So the upper left corner is going to be in the upper left side of G1. Then next, we're going to go through there and click on the quick layout button and that is of course in the charts layout tab on the design uh, uh, the chart tools design tab and we're going to choose in this case layout 2. Now the chart is repositioned on the page and its layout changes so that the chart title has been added and the percentages display on each slice and the legend appears just below the chart title. On step 3 it tells us that we want to select the chart title text. So you want to triple click, that selects it all. Or you can just highlight if you want to. And then we want to type in total expenses, comma, by country. So this is going to show us all the expenses by the different countries. In step four, it tells us that we want to click the slice for the India data point. And of course, the India data point is our orange data point here, and that's the one with the 7% uh, that's on there. So we click it once, and then we have to click it again to select the individual slice. Once you click it once, it selects the entire pie um, chart that's on there. When you select it, uh, click it again, then it actually goes there and selects the individual slice. And that way, so it's the only slice selected. And you can tell that here is some resizing handles that are here uh, that actually will indicate that that is the only slice selected. Then next, it tells us that we want to right click this, um, and you want to make sure you right click in the um, blank area here. 
and then it tells us that we want to click on format data point once we have that here and the format data point is the format data point painting opens up now you can use the point explosion slider to control the distance a pie slice moves away from the pie or you can type a value into the point explosion text box now of course some trouble that you may run into here is if the format data series command appears on the shortcut menu instead of the format data point you need to double click the slice you want to explode to make sure that it's selected by itself uh, and then you can right click and try it again on step 5 it tells us that we want to double click the 0 on the uh, point explosion here so we want to select this 0 and we want to type in 40 once we type in 40 we can just go ahead and click on the close box here or the close button here and now you'll notice that this piece of pie has been pulled out 40% uh, from the entire pie there. Of course now we decide that we want to preview this chart and data before we actually uh, submit this in or before you would uh, print this. So just make sure that you compare all this uh, to what you have on your screen right now. Next it tells us that we want to click on cell A1 and this is on step 6. We click on cell A1 and we're going to switch out to the page layout view and of course we could do that down here at the bottom we can click there or we can go up to our view up here as well and choose the page layout view as well your choice on that one then next it tells us that we want to type your name in the left header text box so right up here's the left header text box and I'll type in my name here and then we're going to click on cell A1 to get back into our spreadsheet and of course now we're going to decide that the chart and data would fit better on the page if they were printed in landscape on there so to do this we're going to click on the page layout tab and then we're going to click on the orientation button and then we're going to point to landscape and that way so now it's in landscape next we can still see it's on two pages so uh, to make this fit on one page we can go back to our file tab and go to print and down here on the bottom where it says no scaling we can change this to where we can fit the sheet on one page and when we click on the fit sheet to one page we notice that it shrinks it down and the data and the chart are all positioned horizontally on a single page and of course the printer you have selected may affect the appearance of your preview screen so yours uh, probably will look, will look similar to the one that I have here but if it doesn't that's okay uh, that's on there once you have this you want to go ahead and you can go back make sure that you save your work and you're ready to upload this to course sites and then you're ready to continue on uh, with the remaining assignments for Excel Unit D